Good Friday morning, everyone. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Leah Murphy. We're starting off this morning a bit on the wet side. It's also a bit mild and muggy out there. We've had a few rounds of showers and downpours come through, even a few rumbles of thunder. That will come to an end as we head through the rest of the morning hours, but then we are going to be continuing to see another round of showers as we head into the afternoon. Perhaps around 2, 3 o'clock, we could see another round of showers come through with some embedded downpours as well, and highs will be coming up into the 60s. As we head into the overnight hours, we do look to dry things out in your day on Saturday. We do look to start off with a chance for some showers, but then overall, it looks like we are going to be looking at mostly cloudy skies, and it will be breezy both today and tomorrow. A little bit cooler tomorrow as well, with highs getting into the 50s. S Sunday looking like a dry start, but then we do have some shower chances in the afternoon. And Monday for Patriots Day is looking like a nice day. That's a check of your forecast. David, over to you for today's top stories. Good morning, Liam. I'm David Horwitz, and here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. A man from Springfield will spend the next 47 months behind bars after he was sentenced for his role in a regional organized theft crew that stole catalytic converters from nearly 500 vehicles. 26-year-old Zachary Marshall was arrested back in April of last year in connection to theft, transportation, and sale of stolen catalytic converters taken from across Massachusetts and New Hampshire in 2022 through April of 2023. And happening today, Six Bricks Cannabis Dispensary in Springfield will host NFL Hall of Famer Calvin Johnson, famously known as Megatron. That event is happening at 2 o'clock in the afternoon at the dispensary's location on Main Street. Johnson is at the business to celebrate a collaboration between Six Bricks and his own cannabis brand Primitive. Over in Chicopee, crews responding to a house fire on Springfield Street yesterday. It happened next to the Christ Community Church in the historic part of the city at around 11.30 a.m. No one was hurt at the time of the fire. No injuries reported. The cause of that fire remains under investigation.